Hi, this is Kathleen Rice, and I am here in El Paso with my colleagues Bonnie Watson Coleman and Nanette Barragon. And we just came from the Annunciation House, which is a place right here in El Paso that takes migrants who are crossing over from places like Guatemala and Honduras and El Salvador looking for safety and protection. So we were particularly impressed with the information that the executive director shared with us regarding the process and what these individuals had encountered before they got to Annunciation uh, Hospitality. And he gave us some ideas about things that we need to ask both um, CBP and um, ICE about doing transfers of people more cohesively and coherently. We had an opportunity to talk to a single mother uh, who is a mother of three, but it left Honduras with just one daughter. And then we had Nanette with us, which was a really good thing because she served as a great translator because the mother nor the child spoke any English. She was one of the women and her daughter who were under the bridge for four days. She had medical issues which were totally ignored. And Nanette really got to uh, relate to her and ask her some very poignant questions about her experience and her expectations. Yes, and the migrant mom uh, was there with her 13 year old daughter and we got to ask her what it was like, and she talked about the inhumane conditions, and in doing so, just tearing up, you could see how traumatizing it was for them to spend four days under the bridge where they saw children that were vomiting, children that were getting diarrhea, um, children that were being that were getting sick because of how cold it was, and it was just so heartbreaking to hear her share her story, and to hear her talk about how inhumane that she was treated in her stomach ache that nobody would treat her for until she got to the Annunciation Home. So we're heading now to that location, the bridge, to see what's going on there, to talk to CBP officials and some ICE officials and see if we can reconcile what we're hearing uh, from these people here on the ground and what we're hearing on the news that's coming from the, this president and his administration. And we're good to be here on the ground because we're getting the truth. Yes. Thanks all.